you guys didn't anticipate, like with the storyline or developments with having this new baby and becoming a father? And well, here's what I thought was surprising. The story itself. Yeah. I guess, I don't know what, in our head somehow, or maybe in <laughs> my head, when I say our head, it's like, you I go, oh, how's this baby going to come? I you was know? like, oh, it's going to be like this funny, oh, how do we get to the taxi? Oh, oh we're oh, late. Oh, we can't you know, find a cab. We're in Midtown. High comedy. You know? And yeah. then we get the script and. It's the opposite. Kevin's dying. Yeah. And, and, and Jenny's showing up to the crime the scene. And it's just like, yeah. So it's totally watching. opposite. It's 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 a really good episode. So if you missed it, you, you got to catch up on like ABC.com or whatever. Um, <laughs> because uh, it, it's, it was it was filled with a lot of surprises. And I think the audience uh, was yeah. pretty surprised by it. I've never had a child. So I didn't really have anything personal to draw on. So it was, it was crazy. Like I kind of always had said like, oh, please just don't make me give birth on TV. Like... Yeah. I just, I kind of didn't want to do that, but... Didn't you have a moment with Susan Sullivan? I had the best. <laughs> no, Susan Sullivan said, like, it's like, darling, when I was on Falcon Crest, I gave birth on the floor of a casino. I mean, or it was something like we're on a Baskin rug. You know, very, <laughs> yes. very Susan. It was very Martha. Uh, <laughs> it was, you know, it's every, there's a lot of stuff that actors have never done before that they have to... It's part of the fun. Do. Research. It is really part so of So what fun. did you do? You call so, your friends who've had babies? Yeah, I'll yeah. tell the story. Or yeah, you right. can tell the story. Are you going right. to be JJ? I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. This is great. You did great research. She was very good in this episode. One so. of my very dear close friends had recently had a baby. And so I would actually, I went over to her house. Several, she came over to my house. She was like my doula, sort of. Anyway, sat at her house and we'd like say hi to her husband. Hey, Marcus. And then Annie and I would go into her into her room and we'd have contractions together. And she'd kind of explain how it felt. What's a contraction? It's what? It's what? It's what? <laughs> so many things I learned. Your whole body? I, yeah, I didn't. Oh, oh my God, people are laughing at me right now. But I honestly, I don't. I didn't think contractions were your entire body. It's like it's just the like abs, right? You're oh, like, no, no, like, no, no. She's like, it's gonna no, be your whole. And I'm like, whoa. Whoa. So was, after that, I, I watched uh, YouTube videos of women giving birth. YouTube's and a great resource, it really isn't it? Is. For like you can everything. Do anything yeah. on YouTube. Yeah. Right? And I watched that, and that scared me even more. And then having that big latex belly, I was like, I don't know. Do people really do this? They really do this. I, I. You were a cute pregnant woman. I saw those pictures yeah, with your belly me. and your dress. <laughs> it was working. adorable. Adorable. Okay, well, I think we're going to see Ryan um, pulling into the uh, precinct. I've pitched this for a while. I, I, wanted, I wanted Ryan showing up like tired, exhausted, like, oh, I haven't been getting any sleep. Oh, we got to get that baby sleep train. Oh, God, that four hours and all those things that I find is very funny because um, in the very beginnings of, of being a parent, is, it's akin to a lot of like torture of what they do <laughs> to like prisoners in Guantanamo Bay. Like, they, they <laughs> keep them up at all hours, those sort of things. So like, parents, you see, walking around like zombies because they can't think anymore. <laughs> you know, they're always misplacing things because they haven't had any sleep or, like, one hour of sleep. And then up right away. And then, they're like, oh, 15 minutes and then up. So, so I, want, I want Ryan to go through some of those experiences because those are visceral things that you can play as an actor, and they're kind of fun, that state of being. I, I also want him um, to sh have to show up uh, to a crime scene in a baby Bjorn. Um, that, that's something I've been pitching. Maybe there's a little, like, I don't know, shield in the front of it. Like, a, his, he, puts his, he puts his shield, his badge on the front of it. And it's like, what is this? It's a, it's a baby backpack. And I, I had... Jenny was busy. She Jenny had, was busy. She had to go into work. Our regular sitter, sitter was sick. I couldn't. I couldn't. She had to... It was important. Okay, I am in here. And so I'm like, oh, shoo, 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 shoo. That was good. And so you're taking you know, statements and things so like that. So that might be a hard pitch, that one. But Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. True. We'll I see. There, there's, a, there's a wonderful moment in the episode that just aired um, where we talk about um, if it's a boy, what we're going to name it, and if it's a girl, what we're going to name it. And there's a very sweet moment. It's one of my favorite moments in, in all of the Espo-Ryan relationship because there's this moment where we think we're going to die and um, and I'm on the phone with Jenny, and I say I say if it's a boy, name it Esposito, um, and uh, Javier. Javier. Name it Javier. And he goes, and and it's a very sweet moment. And he gives me crap about it immediately. And goes, he's a white kid, and you're gonna name him Javier. But it's almost this little bit of funny thing. He's like and he's like I got. I was like, you're gonna give me a hard time about this. I'm being sentimental. We're about to go die, and you're giving me you're giving me a hard time. You're giving me grief. And he's like he's like yeah, if it was my last chance. And this is a great little moment where where we laugh and sort of cry at the same time because, yes, we know it might be the last time for us to share one of those grief moments. So, yeah. Anyway, I, I, I think it, it, was, it was touched upon that. I think he, the sentiment was there. And at the end, he was very happy that it was a girl. Because <laughs> he's like, like, oh, thank God. Thank God we can't go like, Javier. The kid isn't saddled with the name Javier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> White Irish kid. Hey, Javier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's handling it well, though. A lot of people, like fans of the show, 
don't know that you two are married in real life. Isn't that astonishing? Like, I, I, okay, to people who just even, like, have casually watched it, they see that name, Dever, and they see it twice in the credits, <laughs> and they don't put, put two and two together. They just never happens. would be terrible if we were brother and sister, though. That would be <laughs> weird. Like, so you guys are related. Are you cousins or something? Like, related? Yeah, we're cousins that make out all the time. Yeah, that's a good idea. I, it, uh, yeah, it's still amazing to me that people are finding that out. But uh, here's my, my theory, though, is, okay. the, is that our show is still growing an audience. So there's yeah. a lot of people who didn't who didn't watch maybe the second season, third season, who are now watching it because of syndication or whatever, and they're now catching on to the fact. So yeah, I think it's, I just that's I what find it's... it funny because we have Twitter follow a lot of Twitter followers in common, and they follow both of us, and then it dawns on them. It just now under, I just now got it that you guys are married. I'm like, but wait, but you've been following both of us. Yeah. We reference each other at all least the time. once a like, day. Here I... we are at dinner here at we least... are with our dogs, and, and when. <laughs> At least once a day, what? you get a tweet that says, I, "Why am I just realizing now that I'm those like, two I are you married?" Guys followed one of the other because like, we are together. <laughs> the fact that you follow us like separately and still uh, into uh, Samuel French Bookstore, which is a bookstore for actors on Hollywood Boulevard, Hollywood Sunset, Sunset, Sunset Boulevard, Sunset Boulevard. And uh, I was looking for a book, and I was an employee. He helped me. I helped him. <laughs> and he was a spaz. <laughs> No. <laughs> That's a great act. That's such like an no. actor's story. It's yeah. almost so stereotypical, yeah. isn't it? Like we were at an acting bookstore that everybody in town nobody, goes to. Nobody set us up. Nobody said you two should meet. It was just we were in a book. I was in a bookstore. I was looking for an Edith Skinner book. On she stage. hit on me. She saw me. This is she hit on me. Right here it was it was shameless the way this happened. happened. She picked up the book and like, hey. And she's just like throwing <laughs> lines all at me, and I'm like, okay, fine. Here's my number. I mean, I know you're pretty and everything, but you know, it's okay, not, here's my it's number. Not actually, how it happened? <laughs> no, I, I gotta ask because tell us where we are. We're in front of what? Here. Um, we're in front of um, scenery storage. So these are all our standing pieces of scenery that we need to save, and there's a lot of them um, uh, for all the years. So yes, we're we're in front of what what is probably. Um, the deconstructed elements of our apartment. We get to choose, actually, a lot of the stuff yeah, of our apartment. Yeah, that was actually, yeah. what was oh, that? Did. Yeah, so that was last season. Last yeah, season. We finally got to see where, where I live. It's crazy. They came in and they asked us maybe what colors we'd like, maybe what yeah. style, what we kind of reflect We're more our... traditional, yes. we're really? more historic, we're more those kind of things. And so we, you know, Julie, so. Julie played a, picked out a lot of colors. <laughs> yeah, so wow. it's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. Was it anything like your real taste and your real home? Yeah, yeah. 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 There's a, it, it's very meta, yeah. We're, we're very much like I, I, I. It's one of those things. Like, do you want to separate your characters from your your real uh, from your from your real life uh, experiences, or do you want to sort of say like, you know, I like these things, and I think my character does too. Well, but I think it was also kind of a natural what like a progression of like how Kevin and Jenny are similar to us, right? But not quite. You know, mm -hmm. they're maybe a Slightly little different. bit more by the book, a little bit more high strung uh, than we are in real life. So. Where you know, I think that we pushed our apartment a little bit in their direction as well. So right, right. It's a, it's much more traditional and it's much more, but it's yeah. still got that historic feel and the things that that we Seamus sort of Julie gravitate like, to. Yeah. We're big into preservation and those things. We have we have an old house, so yeah. We but yeah, it just felt comfortable. It felt you know, when we walked in, we're like, yeah. I was like, all right, this is pretty good. good. This is all my taste. Yeah, I would do this. I was like, possibly. Julie, nice colors you picked out. Yeah, no problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs>